In 2007 and 2008, the Finlay Institute immunized homeopathically over 2 million people in Cuba against leptospirosis, a very potentially serious life-threatening disease. And in 2009-10, they immunized homeopathically over 9.8 million people against swine flu. Would you believe it? That's pretty hard to believe. involving thousands of children. Uh, all of this shows, all this evidence shows that we have a level of effectiveness of homeopathic immunization around 90% and that's more than comparable with uh, vaccine effectiveness uh, that they find in orthodox trials. And so when you compare that with the safety of homeopathic immunization compared to say vaccination, we find really we have an option which is comparably effective but which is non-toxic and provides no danger, no long-term side effects to the people who are using the method. Okay, so you're saying there's good outcomes, there's a high level of safety, there's a lot of good research, and even governments in other countries are, are using this sort of immunisation for millions of people? That's right. I mean, the trials in Cuba are the, the largest well-documented... <laughs> Sheffield runs a homeopathic practice on the central coast of New South Wales and she has a controversial position on vaccination. The research we have, and it is limited research, shows that the rate of um, protection that a homeopathic immunising agent provides seems to be similar and in some instances better than what the orthodox vaccines offer. Uh, in terms of safety they're way, way better than vaccines. On her website Homeopathy Plus, Fran Sheffield claims homeopathic immunisation is effective against polio, meningococcal, cholera, whooping cough 
and other serious diseases. There is no good scientific evidence, to my knowledge, that homeopathic immunisation works. Uh, there is references in obscure uh, journals that uh, you, you cannot find, um, and uh, there is anec anecdotal reports by homeopaths that it works, but uh, it's not in the mainstream scientific literature. Dr Ken Harvey made a complaint against Homeopathy Plus to the Complaints Resolution Panel. They review potential breaches of the advertising code in relation to therapeutic goods. The complaint resolution panel agreed that there was a breach of at least nine sections of the code and one section of the Therapeutic Goods Act, including very serious sections such as promoting to the general public um, uh, the treatment of serious diseases for which uh, there was no evidence of efficacy. The complaints resolution panel asked Fran Sheffield to remove the claims about immunisation and to publish a retraction which included the statement We did not provide adequate evidence to support the claims made in the advertisement and the panel found that the claims were unlawful, misleading and unverified and breached the Therapeutic Goods Advertising Code. A recent Homeopathy Plus email alert was headed Homeopathy as good as chemotherapy for breast cancer. Steve Kinane, Late Line. Special uh, 